Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel where we share exciting adventures and inspiring ideas. Today, we have three interesting topics. Unforgettable Times Square, the best New York City experience. Overcoming challenges of electric cars for a greener world. And setting goals for a successful future. Get ready to be amazed and motivated. Let's begin. Chapter 1 Have you ever been to Times Square in New York? Yes, I have been to Times Square in New York City. It is a very busy and crowded place. But it is also very exciting. There are always people around. And there is always something going on. I love the energy of Times Square. And I always have a great time when I am there. Here are some of the things I experienced in Times Square. I saw the bright lights and the big billboards. I heard the loud noises and the music. I smelled the delicious food from the restaurants. I felt the excitement of the people around me. I think Times Square is a great place to visit. It is a symbol of New York City. And it is a place where people from all over the world come together. I would definitely recommend visiting Times Square if you are ever in New York City. I would like to share with you my personal encounter with the bustling and vibrant environment of Times Square. I went to Times Square for the first time last week, and it was amazing. There were so many people and so much to see. I loved watching the people from all over the world. And I was amazed by all of the lights and the energy. I would definitely recommend going to Times Square if you're ever in New York City. Here are some of the questions that I asked myself about my experience in Times Square. What did I like most about Times Square? What did I dislike about Times Square? Would I go back to Times Square? I like the bright lights and the big billboards the most. I also like the energy of the people around me. I didn't dislike anything about Times Square. But I thought it was a bit too crowded. I would definitely go back to Times Square, and I would encourage others to visit it as well. To sum it up, I've been to Times Square many times, and it's always exciting. It's a place that never gets boring and attracts people from all over the world. I really like the bright lights, big signs, and the energy of the people. In Times Square, there are lots of things to do, like watching amazing shows, going shopping, or just watching people. If you ever go to New York City, I really suggest you visit Times Square. It's an experience you'll always remember. Chapter 2 What do you think about electric car? I think electric cars are great. They're better for the environment, they're more efficient and they're becoming more and more affordable. I'm really excited about the future of electric cars. 
I think they have the potential to revolutionize transportation and make our world a cleaner, healthier place. Here are some of the things I like about electric cars. They're better for the environment. Electric cars don't produce any emissions, which helps to improve air quality and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They're more efficient. Electric cars are much more efficient than gasoline-powered cars. This means that they can go farther on a single charge, which can save you money on fuel costs. They're becoming more affordable. The cost of electric cars has been coming down in recent years, and they're now starting to become more affordable for the average person. I think electric cars are a great option for anyone looking for a new car. They're better for the environment. They're more efficient, and they're becoming more affordable. If you're considering buying a new car, I encourage you to check out electric cars. Here are some of the challenges that electric cars face. The range of electric cars is still limited. Most electric cars can only go about 100 to 200 miles on a single charge. This can be a challenge for people who need to drive long distances. The infrastructure for electric cars is still developing. There are not as many charging stations available as there are gas stations. This can make it difficult to find a place to charge your electric car when you're on the go. The cost of electric cars is still higher than gasoline-powered cars. Electric cars are more expensive to purchase than gasoline-powered cars. However, the cost of electric cars is coming down, and they may eventually be more affordable than gasoline-powered cars. Despite these challenges, I think electric cars have the potential to revolutionize transportation. They're better for the environment. They're more efficient, and they're becoming more affordable. I'm excited to see what the future holds for electric cars. Chapter 3. What are your goals for the future? I have many goals for the future. I want to finish my education, get a good job, and start a family. I also want to travel the world and experience different cultures. I know that these are ambitious goals, but I am determined to achieve them. I am currently working on my education. I am taking classes at a local community college and I am doing well in my studies. I am confident that I will be able to transfer to a four-year university and earn a degree. I am also looking for a good job. I have been applying for jobs in my field and I have had a few interviews. I am confident that I will find a job that I love and that will allow me to support my family. I would also like to travel the world. I have always been interested in different cultures, and I would love to experience them firsthand. I have been saving money for a trip to Europe, and I hope to go in the next few years. I know that these are ambitious goals, but I am determined to achieve them. 
I am confident that I can make my dreams come true. What do I want to achieve in life? I want to achieve many things in life. I want to be a successful person, both professionally and personally. I want to make a difference in the world and leave my mark on it. I know that achieving my goals will not be easy. It will take hard work, dedication, and perseverance. But I am confident that I can do it. I am determined to succeed and I will never give up on my dreams. Here are some specific goals that I have for my life. I want to get a good education and earn a degree. I want to have a successful career in my field. I want to start a family and raise children. I want to travel the world and experience different cultures. I want to make a difference in the world and leave my mark on it. I know that these are ambitious goals, but I am confident that I can achieve them. I am excited for the future and I can't wait to see what I can accomplish. How's your month going so far? How's your month going so far? Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. And I'm here to talk about how my month is going so far. To be honest, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, I've had some really great things happen. I got a new job. I've been spending more time with my family and friends. And I've even started a new hobby. On the other hand, I've also had some challenges. I've been feeling a bit stressed about work. I've been struggling with my health, and I've been feeling a bit lonely. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good about my month. I'm grateful for all of the good things that have happened. And I'm confident that I can overcome the challenges that I'm facing. I'm excited to see what the rest of the month brings. And I'm looking forward to sharing more of my journey with you all. Thanks for listening. Here are some specific examples of things that have happened in my month. I got a new job. I'm really excited about this new opportunity. And I'm looking forward to learning new things and growing in my career. I've been spending more time with my family and friends. I've been making an effort to reach out to them more often. And I'm really glad that I have such a supportive network of people in my life. I started a new hobby. I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar so I finally decided to take some lessons. I'm really enjoying it so far, and I'm excited to see how I progress. Here are some challenges that I've faced this month. I've been feeling a bit stressed about work. There's been a lot of new projects at work and I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I'm trying to take things one step at a time, and I'm confident that I can get through this. I've been struggling with my health. I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately, and I've been having trouble sleeping. I'm trying to eat healthier and get more exercise. And I'm hoping that I'll start to feel better soon. 
I've been feeling a bit lonely. I've been spending a lot of time at home lately. And I'm starting to feel a bit isolated. I'm trying to make more of an effort to get out and meet new people. And I'm hoping that I'll start to feel more connected soon. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good about my month. I'm grateful for all of the good things that have happened. And I'm confident that I can overcome the challenges that I'm facing. I'm excited to see what the rest of the month brings. And I'm looking forward to sharing more of my journey with you all. Thanks for listening.